Hello everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady, on a lovely sunny morning in England. So, I thought we'd do a little bit of a handbag chat. I know we all love handbags. If you're on this channel and you subscribe to me, you are handbag crazy. <laughs> or you just like a bit of fun. So, as we know, I was very, very, very naughty uh, for my birthday last week. Um, and I treated myself to a Chanel uh, boy bag. And it was pre-law, so obviously I couldn't afford a brand new one. I struggled to buy this one. Um, and it was the medium, and it's the old medium size. So they have bought a different one out uh, since this one, which is slightly bigger. So this is the older one. This was from, I believe, 15 stroke 2016. Um, but I know a lot of you have sort of said, oh, what can you fit in it and stuff? So I just thought I'd do a little sort of talk about it. So... You can get a bit of a feel for it if you fancy treating yourself to one, or you never know, you might want one. Um, or this might be a dream bag, something you've always dreamed of. I know I'd always fancied one, um, and they're just lovely, really, really lovely. But the only thing is, I didn't realise they're quite as small as they are. They kind of appear bigger, you know, these posh people do photos like, oh, look at me with my bag, and all this. And, and I thought they were slightly bigger than what they are, so... As we know, I'm more of a speedy queen, <laughs> so I've got my little speedy here with pom pom on, um, which is probably more suitable to my style of life. I do like to be able to chuck stuff in my bag and go, whereas with the Chanel boy, you have to perhaps plan it a little bit more. So I just thought we'll kind of see what you can fit in it and stuff, because I know you'll probably enjoy this, as I do. Um, so this is the bag, and like I say, it's from 2015 stroke 16. It's got the gold hardware, it's not the shiny gold, um, it's more of a, like a, a brushed antique gold. It is in lambskin, which I have been warned about and I'm a bit paranoid about it, but they reckon, ooh, be very careful with lambskin because it marks easy and stuff. So, um, yeah, so you have to be careful. It has got some very slight wear to the corners, but nothing really noticeable. It does feel absolutely lovely. Um, I've it's just really, really nice. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be because I have had a replica in the past um, when I was dreaming of owning a real one and the chains were really, really heavy on them. So that's an interesting thing to note that the chains on the real one are a lot lighter. So, you know, you can carry it, it doesn't break your shoulder when you carry it and stuff like the fake ones. Um, so, yeah, it's really light. It's like a brushed sort of gold finish. This one has tarnished slightly, which the lady did tell me. Um, so it's slightly a bit more tarnished than the ring. The ring's still a little bit, she's got more of a shine to it and this is not quite so shiny but and that doesn't bother me at all. I think it adds to the charm of the bag, it's really nice. So to open it you squeeze the two little bits at the side and then that lifts up and then it's got like a little, I can describe it as like a little bullet I think, it sticks out at the front um, and that has the Chanel logo on it. I don't know if my camera will pick that up but it's got the little Chanel logo on it. Then I've got it stuffed. I've sift the tissue paper out and then it's got the Chanel tag in there. You can see that. Then it just says it's just one big compartment. Well small compartment should I say. Um, and then it's got another slip compartment behind it where you can slip bits in. So there is just the two compartments. It's got the Chanel logo either end on the gold hardware um so it's like little screw studs which hold these two bits on the side um it's got the gold underneath there they do scratch which i did uh, do research before i bought it they do seem to scratch quite a lot under here which is obviously where you're reaching to get your purse and stuff so let's see what we can get in it <laughs> as you can see it's not massive um, I never classed speedies as a big bag, but compared to the Chanel, they do look quite big, don't they? This is a speedy 30, and as you can see, it's quite a lot bigger. <laughs> Turn it around. Look, this looks huge, doesn't it? So, as I'm just a general, everyday, normal sort of girl, that um, I'm not... I'm not a poser, I don't think I am. Um, I do like to sort of potter about. So when I go out, I always do have my car keys, which I never have a normal keyring on them. Like this, this is my favourite keyring. This is from Ostrich to Love. Um, so again, there's my little actual car key, and there's my massive keyring, which is really soft and it does squash quite flat. To be fair, so my keys. Um, 
my purse, which is quite a big purse, it's probably going to fill the bag before we even start. Um, my sunglasses, which I tend to take everywhere with me because I love my sunglasses. Um, I, I really like them to be in a hard case, but there's no chance of getting a hard case into this. So we've put them just in the little dust cloth. Um, my little uh, Louboutin pochette, which has got like my calm spray because I get a bit stressed out. It's got my yellow calm spray, uh, chewing gum, lipstick lady things you know we all need to carry bits and bobs don't we so as a rule that would be the very minimum i would like to carry with me um there is a few more bits in there i've got another little cosmetics purse and uh some chewing gum and little ticket holder thing so let's see this was just what a normal day i would like to take with me so i put my purse in it's quite a big purse it's not the smallest of purses i suppose so yeah that fits in fine then my little cosmetic purse, I put that behind it. So straight away, already we're struggling. We're struggling, my dears. Let's see if I can. Yeah, that so that would fasten up, but I haven't got my sunnies in there or my car keys. So I try and fit my sunnies on the top, but then it's not gonna fasten. <laughs> can you get where I'm coming from? Like it's the most amazing bag, but it doesn't fit everything in. <laughs> Um, so what I did do when I used it last week, I had to obviously downgrade to a smaller purse, which is slightly annoying because they do, it does fit in. It's just that my sunglasses won't fit in and I take my sunglasses everywhere with me. So there is a bit of room, um, down the sides. So you could sort of stand something up, like you could fit your phone in there or my keys. My keys would go in there a lot. This would be no problem. So you'd get your keys in. Um, and again, it would fasten up. It's just the sunglasses thing. Maybe I need to buy um, one of those light strings that you hold your sunglasses on so I could hang them around my neck. Or, but obviously because I wear glasses, when I take my glasses off and put my sunglasses on, I then need to carry my glasses. So, a bit of a glasses dilemma. Um, so, that is my dilemma with the bag, look. And I'd, I'm scared to break my sunglasses because they were quite expensive. So. If I lay them flat on the top, I just can't, it won't, it won't short. So what I have to do is what I did the other day, take my other bits out. Um, I mean, my car keys I can put in my pocket, so that's not a problem. So it's just the purse thing really. So what I did the other day, I got this gorgeous little cosmetic purse thing from my local little boutique. And I love it, it's leather, it's got sparkly stars on it, what's not to love, it's beautiful. So the other day I did um, put all like my, per like my cards and stuff in here. So just took the basic ones that I thought I would need. I'll just pull a few out just to give you an example. Um, and then just a bit of cash and stuff. So I did put all my little coins and cards and stuff in here. And then I popped this in. Because it's not quite so big. Um, and then my sunglasses. I think this is how I did it anyway. And then, yeah, we just, and then you can fasten it. Ta da! And there we go. That's it, we're in. So, if you've got a big purse, um, your big purse will fit in here, but you won't get anything else in it. <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest. I'm just trying to be as honest as I can. Um, so, that's it. And there we go. So, you've got your bits in it, but obviously, you can't have a big purse in there. I think the moral of the story is. So, Let's have a look what it looks like on. See if I can get up off the floor one moment. Ugh. Right, so you can carry it over your shoulder, which I know a lot of girls do tend to do. And they have their posh skinny ripped jeans on and they show off, blah, 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 and all this. But that's, um, that's just good on me in my little pink shorts. So that's it on my shoulder. I'm uh, five foot six, I'm about a size 12, so I'm not really skinny. Um, so this is what it looks like on a real genuine lady, <laughs> not just a sick insect. Um, so that's it on my shoulder. I'll have a walk so you can get an idea of what I like. They, they do sit on your shoulder nice because obviously they've got the strip, uh, strip of leather that sits really nice on your shoulder. Then you can double the bag up, just pull the leather from the bottom and it goes up. And then you can wear it on your shoulder and again it does sit really nice on your shoulder because it's just got enough weight that it won't slip off, but it's not too heavy that it makes your shoulder ache. So that's on my shoulder, like so. 
And also, you can wear it cross body. Um, I haven't done it yet, but you can, it's got these little studs on the shoulder strap. You can adjust these so you could lift it out. I've never done it because it's a bit stiff and I don't, I don't know if I can. I don't want to damage the bag. That's it, we're out. Hang on, let's do it again. That's it. Right, so to make it on the longest one, you'd push it onto the shortest one and push it through that's it that's on the longest one um and then you hook it over and then that's it that's it cross body so it may be slightly a bit short for me but i don't think it's short as in looks daft and you wouldn't get away with it so you could definitely wear it cross body so that's it cross body i'm hands free um and that's it and there we go that is the chanel medium old boy bag um if this is your dream bag i hope this review was useful i know when i was looking to buy one it's very hard and you sort of there's a lot of different reviews on them um but they normally have people that really 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 like them i do love it don't get me wrong it's a beautiful bag but i just wish it was a tiny bit bigger so that i could get my sunglasses in or maybe i need to invest in some smaller sunglasses because my sunglasses are quite big um, but apart from that, it is a beautiful bag. You have to appreciate the leather is stunning. Obviously, your lovely Chanel logo across there, which is like, it's just the Rolls Royce of handbags, really, isn't it? Apart from sort of your Hermes and stuff. But um, yeah, it's lovely. Really, really lovely bag. It's very nice to carry. You feel very proud, I think, when you use it because it's lovely. Um, you're very honoured to own one. I did have to sell about three of my other bags to purchase this um, and it's lovely I'm really very lucky to have one I know I am but I did buy it pre-owned I couldn't afford a new one um, and it's lovely so I hope this review, this review was helpful if you're thinking of uh, treating yourself to one I just wanted to give you an idea of what they're like and what you can fit in it and you know sort of size wise what they're like because sometimes they do look bigger on some people. It just depends, doesn't it, how tall you are and stuff. So I'm about a size 12. I think I'm a pretty normal British sort of lady size-wise, I think. Um, so that's it. That is the Chanel bag. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you get a minute and you enjoy handbags and stuff, then please subscribe to my channel. And come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Mrs Crazy Bag Lady. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I shall speak to you soon. Bye.